All right. <laughs> you Do look, I look like a villain? You look like a teacher, a history teacher. Damn, that's the exact <laughs> opposite of what I was going for. Oh, wait. You look like a teacher? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a, a teacher during Christmas season. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I look like I'm about to say, hey, what up, brother? <laughs> What's up, young blood? Man, the turtleneck. Uh, gold chain. Every black dude knows about that combo. Okay, the Makes white turtleneck or is never. it black? Never I, I, that. I've never had a white turtleneck. Okay, I was about to say some New Jack City type stuff is black turtleneck black and with gold the chain. Is mainly what I was talking about, but oh. turns out white's okay too. But it's you like softer. Skin, so. Yeah, <laughs> I do look like I'm the baritone in an R and B group. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deepest your voice can go? Not deep at all. Damn. Not deep at all. Do you think my voice can go deeper than yours? Probably. Wow. Really? No, try. Hello. This is the deep. This is the deepest I can go. Damn, deep. I have to take like a deep breath to This is just another nigga's regular voice. That's the deepest your this voice the, gets? This is the this is the deepest I can go. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you think all. that I can go deeper than that? <clears throat> Was that deep? I mean, I would think that was pretty deep. Go. Oh. This is the deepest I can oh, go. I guess not. You sound goofy as hell, though. I do. <laughs> this is the deepest I can go. I said I look Wait, like a history teacher. Uh, That's crazy. <laughs> what about? <laughs> Should I do the podcast like this? I'm a lady. All right, you can stop. That's <coughs> awful. That's awful. <laughs> Damn. Check your fit. Okay, uh -huh. Gucci. You know, I look more like the villain, you know, like kind of like a, a little... Dope slanger in the nineties. Dope slanger. You dress like I the guess. interior of a scion. He <laughs> 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 like, just like the inside of a car that can go vroom. <laughs> you look like a broom. Damn! How do I look like a broom? <laughs> what that even be? The hair is the. <laughs> Well, what about the white part? A little ShamWow. Uh, like ShamWow, the like nigga version. When a broom is tucked into the <laughs> dustpan. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> oh. All right. Enough All right. antics. Enough antics. We got All threads. right. You ready for these boars? I know you saw the comments. They missed enough. the bars. There weren't enough for you to say that, but go ahead. You are lying. It was almost every comment, with the exception of like two people that said, well, they could have deal without. Almost but everybody every else, crazy. man, I'm going to show you. Because you didn't even watch it. You didn't even look. You didn't read them. I did. Go ahead. I'm out here in my zone. Put it on me and watch this crown crone. Crone? <laughs> Okay, people in the comments better be honest about this. <laughs> On your knees or it's off with his head. Shank, shank. I see that heart red. That was it? That was your return to the bars. This crown is crone? All right. See this crown crone? All right, comments. If y'all ain't honest about this... See, we always coming up with we're always coming up with different trends on how to say stuff like, oh, this brain is braining. The math ain't mathing. So I can say this crown crone, this drowned drone. You can say it. I can. Will it be accepted? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Probably not. We back. Did you like it? No. Oh. That was one of the worst ones. I thought you were gonna return with some heat. No, you didn't. <laughs> You'd be surprising every now and then. It seemed like you had more to prove, though. So I was, I was I thinking you were going to. I got more to prove. I thought I, I was thinking you were going to do do something with it. Well, watch next episode. <laughs> <laughs> next time, guys. <laughs> All right. The thread I have brought to the attention of the people who watch this show. You sound like your outfit. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm gonna do it like this. What old person thing do you do? I love that. Mine is apologize like a man. See, this <laughs> is unfair. Don't come up with excuses. This is unfair. Why? Because y'all apologized with just the same amount of bullshit. The, well, leave it up to some men and say we never apologize. That's true, too. That's true, too. So I would love, you 
know, to hear your counterparts express. So I'll know like what's an apology and what's not because, mm-hmm. you know, it's according to this, is not very straightforward. And okay. it looks like you guys kind of avoid apologizing, if not more than we do. If I'm like, damn, I'm wrong, I'll apologize. If it's like, I'm wrong, but they wrong too, we could like talk about something. Who's going to apologize first? Will you ever be the one to apologize first? If we both in the wrong? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't have a big deal. People act like apologizing is like, I don't, I don't, I lost everything because I said sorry, (laughs) you know? And I feel like it's, well, it's admitting, it's admitting fault. Right. And admitting fault, I think we all have some level of God complex. Okay. That we can never be wrong or what we're doing is the right decision. Unless we blatantly know what we're doing is bullshit. Mm-hmm. But if we genuinely make the wrong decision but didn't feel like in the moment it was the wrong decision. Yeah. That makes sense because you're you know? you're standing on something. Yeah. You know, if you don't believe you're wrong, mm-hmm. why say sorry? And a lot of people get caught up in the the principle of it. I didn't do anything wrong. So if I say sorry, it means I did something wrong and I didn't do anything wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I understand that. And a lot of people are scared to look at situations from other people's perspectives because it'll either make them look silly or, you know, kind of embarrassed or depending on the nature of the situation. Mm-hmm. You know, and some people don't like to look dumb or silly or admit that they could have looked like that. And then, you know, fight, 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 tooth and nail when you could have just. I, I I think I do. A decent job of being like, okay, oops, I was wrong. I apologize. Okay. And well, let's see what the men is talking about. Real men don't apologize. There you have it. First Boom. real nigga alert in the in the comments. First set of bullshit. <laughs> I just miss my granny, man. I'm sorry. That's low. As man, y'all are dark. That's great though. Mm-hmm. Uh, believe what you want. Is that an apology? No. Oh. It's not at all. None of these are. The first one was don't apologize. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What you want me to say? Can we just move on? Damn. So sorry (laughs) Sorry was the word they were looking for. (laughs) Let's just move on. What I got to say? Uh, I guess this is like, okay, I'm not about to admit guilt, but but I'm not about to say you wrong either. <laughs> so, this next one or that last one? No, that last one. It's like, what you want me to say? Can we just move on? Like, that means you did it. You know you did it. Because saying, can we just move on? You ain't going to say that if she the one who's in the wrong, you know? Uh, what you doing? You ate? Did you eat? It's probably the best one so far. Mm-hmm. If the argument was petty, that might just end the whole thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Man, I don't want to argue. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. That doesn't. That, you're not admitting guilt or saying sorry. You could just not want to argue. But you could. If also. they brought up some, be if they're just arguing just to argue. You know, we've all been in that situation where it's just like, why are why are we even doing this? Is this this isn't even rooted in anything? Then it's just like I don't want to argue. Forget it. You know. I've had people avoid. Taking responsibility because they didn't want to argue when we just talking. Hmm. To me, that is your way of avoiding. To be fair, it's never just talking. If somebody says, I don't want to argue, y'all wasn't just talking. Y'all don't even know when y'all arguing sometimes. I don't know. Am I the only one here reading these in my manly voice? As a woman? Mm-hmm. Y'all always got a comment under something that says, for the men. <laughs> <laughs> men, respond to this. It's and I'm just mostly like y'all. I'm going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, um, sorry, the fuck is this post? Men are the ones forced to constantly take accountability. Now, apologizing just to end the conversation because they're wrong. We've all done that. Forced ca- accountability is how y'all apologize. Forced? That's what he said. Men are the ones forced to constantly take accountability. Right. Forced accountability is like... Every man has apologized to a woman for something that he did not do. Because y'all are crazy. Wow. (laughs) You hungry? 
That's uh, food manipulation. What you want from the stove? Okay, so niggas is buying their way out mm -hmm. of the sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry is free. This one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It wasn't even like that. That's definitely in response to a cheating allegation. <laughs> And that's, it wasn't even like that. Is that sorry, though? <laughs> that's just lessening the blow. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sometimes it wasn't like that. Man, I got a lot on my mind. That's like the, I miss my granny. Mm-hmm. Hey, can I call you? I'm trying to use it in the apologetic manly can voice. Can I call you? Can well, I, I mean, call you? I mean, they're still going to have to call maybe and say nigga something. That don't, uh, maybe it's a nigga that always talk about he don't like to be on the phone. Uh -huh. He don't like to talk on the phone. He's a texter. Yeah, but saying, can I call, like, you, can don't, call you? I don't get you out of anything. But anything, maybe that's a like. Oh, he called so, me. He, he doesn't have to apologize anymore. I'm, I'll say this with a call. A call is more personal than a text. So sometimes if he's like, can I call you and talk to you? It's like, okay, maybe. Niggas know how to talk their way out of stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Avoiding completely is texting or whatever. She gonna stay mad with a text. Mm -hmm. But if you call, it's kind of like better with the text. Nah, you're not making. Really? I mean, not. It's slower progression um, until you see that person, mm -hmm. or no, because it's like, damn, nigga, like you was in the wrong. You can't even pick up the fucking phone and call me. You ever been or uh, Facetime me or something? You ever break up with somebody or been broken up with in a text? Yes. Which one? He broke up with me over text. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I was like, Shit. you sure that's what you want to do? Damn. I'm that was bad. not, in fact, what he wanted to do. I've done that. I'll just say that because break the way up in he a text. Came back. Break up in a text. A player. Um, Send relationship over. Player. Didn't have to warm your vocal you just, cords up or anything. You just got to make sure that that's what you really want. What do you because mean? Because when you try to come back from that, which most niggas do, mm -hmm. you got an uphill battle versus because doing Because the it. text? Because that is completely so utterly disrespectful. Uh, I thought you meant because there's like a paper trail. No, no. They probably do that to show the next bitch that you broke up with her. Player. Then they back on the phone like, baby, baby, I, I, I didn't mean it. I was just upset. I don't think they wouldn't take you back because it was a text. It's probably what you had to. You probably don't want to test that theory, though. No, but I mean, you know? I don't think it'd be like, I'm not taking him back. He texted me. <laughs> well, it, it would be. It's mean, but so is it would breaking be, up in person. I don't think breaking up in person is mean. If you're not. If you're over the relationship, I think that's the most appropriate way to do it. Um, I've I've dated women who I could not break up with. And I don't mean like, damn, I could never leave her. I mean, I have attempted multiple times and they just knew how to judo flip. And I was a little I was a little younger at the time. Um, so I feel like I'm more straight to the point now. But. I don't know. I'll be I, I crocodile tears sometimes worked on me, uh, and they just wait. They, she cried, and so you was like, okay, I'll stay in this. No, it wasn't just it was it was a mixture between the the crying, and they just they just I don't know I don't I to this day I still don't know. It's like a Jedi mind trick. But they I just, think we had this conversation before, and you said that you was still smashing, you like mean? you smash afterwards. Well, we never broke up. Well, I'm saying if you say you were trying to break up with this person, you couldn't break up with them, but you were still smashing. I'm saying so I was like, I'm saying I would come <laughs> over to the crib or we would like be in in a, in like a car or something and I will just like straight up break up with them and by the end of the conversation we're not broken up. <laughs> so of course I'm still going to smash. Yeah. What you mean? I'm still Well, if I'm you're trying to get in. No, if you're trying to get out of the relationship, if you're really done with that relationship, right. no matter what she says, you shouldn't be able to be swayed if you're really done. So if you were really trying, you could break up with somebody if you were tr really I don't, trying. I, like I said, I don't know how they did it. It hasn't happened in a very long time, but she, it's 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 happened. She so put that period of blood in the spaghetti. Uh, you know? <laughs> so for me, you send that text out of here. <laughs> put me in your uh, yeah. red messages. Yeah, if you feel like that's your best way to be able to to break free, Ouchia. break the chains. Alchia. 
then do it. But I can't say you might not get a pop up or two. Mm. Surprise, surprise. Tap and two. Surprise, surprise. Tap and two. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you just going to ignore me and be mad all day? That's crazy if you. Damn. Okay. You you don't miss me? Say, I mean, that's that's a decent text, but saying that when you're supposed to apologize, like in that part of the argument, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, someone. Ah. I don't know what that is. Someone left their lint on the seat. <laughs> the lint on the seat. So you imply my my head was in the toilet? No, it was it was a callback to the scion joke. It wasn't great. Way to go. It's okay. You was the reason I did what I did, but I'm Damn. sorry if I hurt you. That's bold. <laughs> That's you, you kind of normal me, to me. You made me do it. Mm -hmm. What was the second part? You was the reason why I did what I did, but I'm sorry if I hurt you. Yeah. I'm sorry if I... Those words right there, it takes away the entire... Why? I'm sorry if I... It's I thought it was, I'm, usually... I'm sorry, but... That mm -mm. took it away. Because sometimes it'll be like, I'm sorry if you, sorry. I'm sorry if you uh, feel. I was about to say, like, if I blah, seems blah, blah. pretty decent. If yeah. I hurt you, it seems like a good apology. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, yo, you got it. You got it. Okay, that was the closest to an actual apology. I feel like there should, that one should be a little weighted, you know? You are scum. What you, you mean? You made excuses for every one That's of these That's my job on this show. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. These are terrible. Every, I bet if you, you probably if, used if, every single one of these. Huh? I haven't used most of those, but if you if the the show centers around <laughs> taking a thread and just dumping your anti men <laughs> opinions on it, because this is a, this, this is, not is a, mine. No, but this is an anti-man thread, you know. No, it's not. It's apologize. This I is, gotta this is help. what we have to, this is what we experience from y'all. So if I you gotta, continue. I got to give you why that happens from a male mind. Oh, my God. And all of these are coming from a place of niggadom. Well, this is this is my favorite niggadom response okay. that I've heard more so than I'd like. I said, sorry, damn. What the fuck you want me to do? He said it. That means he said it before, though. So you can't leave that out. But he could That's have done something sorry. to trigger. Sometimes people will apologize for something and then repeat the behavior. Mm. Oh, so you're saying that the sorry came from the last time he did it? It could be. No, don't. You can't do that. It could. He said, I said, I said sorry. I said sorry. We're keeping it within this you, argument. You expect. And then sometimes it's like you say sorry, right? Mm-hmm. But it's a bullshit sorry. And you know when you're given a bullshit sorry. Right. And she doesn't immediately change into, oh, baby, okay. come give me a hug. That makes more you sense. You know, but she's like, you still hurt me. And she still wants to have the conversation. Then as I said, sorry, damn, what the fuck well, you want me to do? Well, at least that first sorry was in that same conversation. You made it seem like it was like the last time. You I mean, it could it. be. It could be. I'm just saying. Because it'll be like, say a nigga cheated, right? Mm-hmm. And he apologized for the cheating. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, the damn. cheating happened because he stayed out till 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. with his boys okay. or whatever. And then, you know, a week later, he's out again with his boys, boys till 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And she's like, this is just like last time when you cheated on me. You was out till blah, blah, blah. This is the same thing. I said sorry for that damn. In what terms of the last want? one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. That's what I'm is saying. Like, that's it's, not unfair. No, we got to keep it within one argument. <laughs> he said, I said sorry, nigga, damn. He could have apologized <laughs> twice. It's hard if it's hard for us to apologize, and that second one might come with a damn. All nah, right? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that was that was that was the end one. All right. Well, good job, you Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you just missing your bow tie and plaid brown damn. plaid jacket. Do niggas wear bow ties with neck turtlenecks? Probably. Damn. Put on uh put on your brown plaid That's shirt. Goofy. That's some Pee Wee Herman type <laughs> shit. All right. What old person thing do you do? Think of yours. Think of yours. 
Run errands early as shit before the idiots wake up. <laughs> I think separation between you and the kids is the biggest one. Right. That's pretty good. Um, bitch about rap and hip-hop in this era <laughs> being awful. Yet that's exactly what people at my age said when I was a teenager. Mm-hmm. I'd say, I think that's one of the first fla- uh, flags. It's like you start complaining about music. Mm. <laughs> Use coupons. Use coupons. Not so much. I kind of miss so the much. physical ones. You know, them red mm-hmm. uh, dispensers that used to be in every aisle. Mm-hmm. Sit on my porch. How come How come niggas get old and just sit and look? Right. <laughs> like, they're just taking it all in, I guess. It's like, I'm alive. This is cool. I'm blessed. <laughs> I eat dinner on a tray table. <laughs> oh, the ones that you like. <laughs> See, I still eat at the coffee table or something if I'm watching TV. Yeah, but that's different. <laughs> That's different. I'm talking about the setup tra- tables. Yeah, the ones that you. My auntie and uncle used to always have that. I used to. I liked them. Um, but the breakfast in bed ones, the little short ones mm-hmm. that you can kind of lay down with, those are clutch. I used to have one. Um, go to bed dumb early so I can have a few extra hours in the morning to chill before work. See, I, I tried to do that last night and I ended up waking up and at that, 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. Tired as a bee now. Be like that. Stare at my lawn. And you're wearing a turtleneck. So yeah, that can old, go. That's, yeah, this is all connected. Yeah. My, my fact is about old people too. <laughs> um, sneeze really loud. I carry mm. I carry postage stamps in my purse. Ooh, that's been, super old. You do that? I've been doing that since I was 21. You, you mail stuff? They're still, my stamps are still, I think I still have my stamps in my wallet. Do if you, I have my stamps in my wallet. Do you use them? <laughs> uh, Purse means like, really. I'm ready to use this in an emergency. I think they've, I I've wonder, do I still? never sent a, a mail that wasn't premeditated. <laughs> do I still have my stamps? If I do, you are going to clown me so hard. All right, I'm going to go on oh, to the next shit. one while you're looking. Drive in silence with my thoughts. I thought I, I do that a lot now. Oh, I've been doing that. Um, That's crazy. I didn't think that was an old pe- people thing. I just realized, like, man, you think really good in the shower and the and when you're driving. So I just started doing that. People have said serial killers do that, and I just thought, like, yeah, that was always the thing. Crazy. Like you were you were crazy if you did that, but now it's just like, man, these thoughts coming. Absolutely had gizzards and gravy with rice and broccoli for dinner. I will never eat a chicken throat. That's crazy. (laughs) Grocery shopping at 6 a.m. is the move. I will never, ever, ever. That is the best time to go. I used to work at Vons um, as a courtesy clerk. Uh It's a courtesy clerk. The people that, um, if you need help with taking your stuff out to the car... And I had the morning shift, and it was really? all old people. They used to put, like, they 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 pay. They, they used tip? to put tips in my smock because we were not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, we were not supposed <laughs> to take tips. Uh-huh. They were stingy, like, bro. I'm I'm making minimum wage, and you won't even let the old people we tip re-racking us. The carts, yeah. That, 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 that's re- a that is a how, how do you how do you say it? Enjoyable? No. It's like a underrated job in <laughs> yes. terms of usefulness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I enjoyed Underpraised. doing it because I didn't want to be in the store. First off, it was freezing in the store, um, mm. especially at 6 a.m. I didn't want to be in there. So I'd be like, I'm going to get the baskets. And so Damn. I had to bag groceries. My job literally was just to bag groceries, put groceries back, mm-hmm. and rack up, help people out to their cars. And rack up the baskets. You, st- you just named every every that, job but cashier. <laughs> no. Well, cashier, no, because I didn't stock stuff. I didn't work in the back like that. Back. Oh. No. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. That's that's an interesting job to think, uh, <laughs> think of you doing. <laughs> Leave the party early to go sit on my couch. I've done that at almost every party. Uh... Eat my vegetables first so my blood blood sugar stays in check. That's super old, but it's also very responsible to do that. Why? Yeah, right. it's like a <laughs> yeah, it's eating, healthy. I used to, I, I would eat my vegetables first because I just like to eat my vegetables first. I never really? saw that as an old thing. <laughs> Maybe it's the type of vegetables you eat, like okra or some shit, or like un 
unheated broccoli, just like yeah. raw broccoli. Grunt and gasp when I sit down or stand up. That's the that's the worst one. Mm-hmm. And um, oh no, these last two I am probably my favorite. Take a nap midday if I'm going out at night so I can be well rested. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I absolutely have to because it's just like I'd be sleepy as soon as I get there. One of these said like getting sleepy in the in the line for the club. I'm like, damn. Whoa. <laughs> you already committed yeah, you way to, too much. Yeah, you need to just go home, hang it up because you don't want to be that nigga sleeping in the club. And this one I'm probably uh, guilty of doing every single day. Um, turn the music down in the car when trying to read street signs. I do that for parking. When I'm close to the address and I'm looking, Mm -hmm. street signs, parking signs, I really have to turn turn the the music music down down so you can see. See better. (laughs) It's crazy. I don't don't even know. There has to be something scientific that backs that up. Has to be. I don't know why it's so distracting. But I definitely, most of the time I'm not listening to music anyway, though. So it doesn't. uh, Mine is like squinting to see better. I feel like that's what old people do <laughs> or just people with poor eyesight you know niggas be yeah, having glasses but... at 10 years old I'm like damn <laughs> your eyes just came out bad but I feel like that's not the majority the majority of older people once your eyesight uh, your eyesight starts kind of declining a little mm-hmm. bit I, I see a, a lot of old people that be like right that makes um, sense another one of mine is I get excited about household items Oh yeah, That's vacuums, a good one. you know, furniture shopping. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, so, so one of that uh, that was one. It's exciting to buy sofas and furniture, <laughs> yes. or then like TikToks that be like just some random super useful household thing. Mm-hmm. Stuff will Amazon hacks. I follow these like ASMR cleaning pages. Of ladies just cleaning the house, and I'm just like, oh. not even power wash, just like regular no, cleaning, taking the trash out and shit. It's not, it's not that. Sometimes they use like a little power wash to, um, to clean like the the washing machine or like the crevices of the oven. Um, they use the pink stuff to like scrub the gunk from the oven. Mm-hmm. Like, this is so exciting. You know, it sounds ridiculous, but. I love power washing videos. You know, the, the games we be playing. I'm playing three games that revolve around cleaning right now. So <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, okay. That was mine. That was I'm a really a done. Good one. Okay. So factuals. I'll go. In 1830s, tomato ketchup was sold as a medicine. Claiming to cure ailments like diarrhea, what? indigestion, and jaundice. The idea was proposed by Dr. John Cook Bennett, who later sold the recipe in the form of tomato pills. Ketchup? Ketchup. <laughs> Ketchup was out here curing diarrhea? <laughs> That's insane for a doctor to prescribe you a fucking glizzy. <laughs> A glizzy. Why did you get glizzy? Because you put, put some ketchup on it. And you, <laughs> you get it too. That's crazy. Yeah, eat some, eat some fries with some ketchup. Right? Tomato pills is crazy. I wonder, I mean, I could see that because you know how like we be looking up lists of like health food, like uh, what certain benefits some foods can give you. Mm-hmm. And... Um, Tomato seems like that one that's like, it might have like a whole list for itself. <laughs> like, this gives you better eyesight, mm-hmm. better this, better that, better that. So I can see why them saying like, all right, I'll liquefy this or pill it. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's just like, it's such a basic condiment now. Right. Like, but I wonder if it works today. Like, I might. I mean, I don't. Uh, Did it God specify forbid, eating ketchup? Or just using ketchup? Because what if they were putting ketchup on wounds and stuff? Well, it says it was sold as a medicine. Uh-huh. Well, not wounds, because it's for diarrhea, indigestion, and jaundice. Oh. Jaundice? That's like the ice. Eye Damn. So maybe it is good for your eyes. You would think that Let that would be like carrots out. or something, you know? Let me find out. Tomatoes out here for real curing jaundice? That's crazy. In the 1700s, Mm-mm. pineapples cost $8,000 in today's dollars. 
People used to rent pineapples to show off to guests. <laughs> What? Like how niggas rent Lambos and stuff. Like I, I'm, a, I'm having a girl over. I'm about to rent me a pineapple. I'm about to rent me SpongeBob's house. Does it does it say like why they were so? So more more than likely, it's like exporting reasons. Mm. Um, oh, there's some actual facts right here. Pineapples were expensive for a few reasons. First, they were a rare and exotic fruit back in the 17 and 1800s. They could only be grown in certain conditions, which meant they either had to be imported from the Caribbean or grown in specialty hothouses. And there were only two hothouses in all of England at the time. So that that makes a lot of sense. Why it was just rare. So renting one. Where would like just to have in your house? <laughs> you like, just, oh that So you can't eat it? <laughs> like, no, why would you eat it? <laughs> it's a rare and exotic fruit. Nah, so it's like nigga. no, for eight thousand dollars? Put that nigga, shit on a chain. Um, eating it put it on a chain and it better cure whatever scurvy Shit. or <laughs> whatever disease I'm putting pineapple on the watch measles mumps and rubella <laughs> i'm gonna have shoes made out of pineapple skin no not have... if you not if you written it why'd you assume i would rent it that's what we're talking about i mean i'm just saying it well it costs eight thousand dollars but people used to rent it to not pay that Oh, well, I thought you were saying people rented it for eight thousand dollars. Well, no, I'm they like, cost eight thousand dollars, so they will buy it. So people would probably pay like a lower price to rent just to like show off. And um, then if they accidentally ate it, what if your what if your guests get like? repoed? <laughs> throw up, nigga. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a funny stunt. Like, that yeah, is yeah insane. You, you leave somebody's house for a dinner. You're like, hey, he had three pineapples. Yeah, He's doing really the, well. How about these pineapples? All right. Well. <laughs> That has been another episode. Well, I didn't even mean anything. <laughs> in the Don't context, they say that? how about these? Pineapples? In the kind of oh, you, how about these apples? Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, this has been another episode of Thick Threads. I have been a history teacher, <laughs> and I'm a science seat. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next time. <laughs>